you don't think they're good teams. teams. They're very well coached. They believe in what they're doing. They've been running it. And she was Moby Dick and Penn, right? <laughs> old George Southern guy was there also. Coach Johnson, right? Now. Right. So, uh, and he went into a conference that seemed to have done pretty well in a conference, running the same thing. Uh, you know, if you have a system that you believe in, Good coaches, which they certainly do. You know, you know, don't 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 slight their talent for a second. I, I, I remember with Georgia Southern. We went we went out there and they were running around, and I was like, wow, these are some good looking athletes. Right. They're taller, longer than I thought they'd be, and, and uh, they've done a good job of recruiting. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It's, uh, Welcome to Tampa Well. There's a lot of ways to skin a kid. That's the way they do it. And they're successful because they got good players and good coaches and good schemes. Thanks, Coach. Good to see you. Good luck Thank to you. you. Bet you. Coach, expounding on that, you know, being able to just, maybe being able to do what they do on, on a regular basis, they they are more so at a, at a disadvantage than everyone else just because the academy is by appointment only. So when you're recruiting, you're also recruiting for you, not just for your, your system, you're recruiting for the academy itself. So you, you're looking for, as I say, a special kind of guy with self-discipline and with a mentality of being far beyond your years, grown up and ready to go to work, take care of family, beyond what you're looking for in a typical 19-year, 18-year-old kid when you're going to, going, doing football recruiting. What's it like to bend at the lane and making your move just because it's a private institution, but almost on the same mentality, but not with the service that's that's allowed that, that's going on beyond that once you get to, get the four years out? Certainly, you, you, you got to use uh, your strengths to your advantage. And, uh, you know, it's just so many people worry about what they don't have instead of what they have. Davis got some unbelievable things to recruit too. Yeah, that's true. That's, yeah. they, they've got a big advantage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so they, they've got. Some, so I'm sure Coach Ken, that's what he emphasizes. Is here, here's, here's the great things that occur when you come to Navy and you get a degree. I, I do the same thing at, at Tulane. You know, we, we're one of the top academic schools in the country. Uh, we, we don't have. Uh, 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 the ability to have walk-ons or large numbers uh, to be able to practice. Uh, I've got, uh, it costs a lot of money to go to school there. And I, I'm not going to give very many walk-ons to That's true. come there. So, uh, you know, we, we've got to adapt and change how we do things. You know, in the Georgia Southern, I, I didn't have 130 guys on the team. At Tulane, I'm going to have 90. You know, and, and so we've got to do things a little bit differently. It's, that's why I went and met with some schools that are similar to us, uh, Northwestern, Vice, and then talk to them about how they, they do it at a, at, a, at a high academic private school as well. So, uh, you know, you, you just got to worry about, you know, how to accent your strengths and, uh, and not use excuses like a lot of people do nowadays. This conference is mighty diverse and mighty spread it out. You got to, you getting in roles in a, in a lot of places. Satellite camps are one of those situations where you kind of like get into a group situation where you didn't know it, didn't before. Now you got access, not just as a football team going to play one day or uh, one game one day. Now you get time and all to kind of like sit around and, and watch over, the, look over the landscape. What's, what's it been like being uh, uh, dealing with the uh, satellite camp? Well, we made the uh, tour uh, at Tulane, and uh, we went uh, all over the state of Louisiana, and then we uh, went into Texas, and uh, went over to uh, Mississippi, and, and Alabama, and Atlanta, and so we saw a bunch of kids. Uh, I think the rule is going to be uh, uh, changed. I don't know what the new rule is going to be. Uh, you know, For the better? You know, you know, the big thing about it is with the NCAA having the APR, Academic performance rate, which we should have had it 20 years ago. I think we've had it for about 10 years. You know, when you, when you sign a guy, you, know, you got it. And he's going to be with you for uh, four or five years. You can't run guys off like coaches might have done 15, 20 years ago. 
So it's important to get as much information on them as possible. Yeah. And, uh, so if a guy's going to be on a four-year scholarship, for us at Tulane, when you include uh, fall, spring, and summer session one, summer session two, that's close to uh, six figures a year. Yes. You know, so uh, uh, when you make that investment, you, know, you want to make sure that he's the right fit for you academically, right fit for, fit for your football life, and he's the right fit for your character life. So these satellite camps give you the opportunity to watch these guys compete and see if they're your kind of guy. Uh, so I think they're very beneficial. I just think uh, there's probably too many of them, too big of a window to have them. Everybody's worried about one school getting an advantage over another school and, and adhering to the NCAA rules. Basically, you got to coach them. And you're not supposed to be talking to the kids either you know, uh, at these camps other than evaluating and watching them mm -hmm. perform. Uh, so uh, I'm sure the NCAA will uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, uh, modify the rule a little bit. We'll, we'll see what happens. Looks like it'll be for the better down the road because now it's like a, a, a trial. Everybody's going through a trial in the trial area to, to see you know what works and what doesn't work. Will it be more of an instructional type situation, not just you know going out and just evaluating? Are you are you hoping for the? Well, you know, n number one, I, I think most schools are going to do provide instruction. Form. We talk about you know NCAA rules and regulations and you know, uh, clearing a house and all those different things. Uh, and then we and then we go ahead and we get measurables on a guy. We want to find out his height, weight, speed, all those kind of things. Uh, vertical jumps. And then uh, <laughs> then we go ahead and we, we do individual drills. Hopefully get the guy better in uh, uh, in his uh, technique fundamentals. And then after that. Uh, you know, we really uh, uh, see him in a competitive setting. We do some one-on-one, -on -one, some, some pass Kelly, and you see the guys in a competitive uh, situation. So, you know, for uh, uh, not very much money, they get, I think they get provided a, a lot of instruction over a three, three and a half hour period. Not bad. Is there anything else you can think of that I hadn't asked about Tulane football other than the upcoming season and all the guys you brought with you today? Oh, we're just trying to, to uh, you know, get our guys to you know, we'll go out and recruit. And we're selling three things. Number one, a world-class education. You know, number two, the opportunity to play big-time Division One football. And last but not least, to do, to do both those things in, in an iconic city like New Orleans. So we're, we're very fortunate. We've got a lot of things to sell it to. Them. The other thing, too, I noticed, the conference now has moved up the ladder to say that uh, outside the group of the uh, Power Five, went to a lot of bowl games. Won a lot of bowl games last year. Conference now has looked about different. It's, it's not just they are, you know, they are old ass basketball conference somewhat. They all spread it out. They're not gonna get it together. Well, last season kind of like proved, disproved that all the way around. What has it meant like to to actually be in a uh, not going, being able to move from conference to conference, but being in the conference that you're in and it being competitive and folks looking at you different. It's one of the big reasons why I took the job. I love a challenge. You know, we've had one winning season in the last 14 years, so it's a challenge. And, uh, I love the fact that we're, I'm going up on a, a level of competition and ability and uh, going uh, moving conferences. So, so, you know, there's it, it just a lot to sell in this league. You know, it's, uh, a lot of big markets. You know, and we've got Tulsa and Houston and Dallas and New Orleans and Memphis and Orlando and Philadelphia and Cincinnati. You got a lot of you know, Tampa, a lot of cities that have over a million people in it, and a lot of television viewership and a lot of great coaches. I mean, this is a very well coached league without question from top to bottom. Coach, thank you for your time. Introduce yourself for folks that don't know who you are, but they'll find out pretty soon. Willie Fritz, Tulane University. This is Jerry Lee Woodley, Jr., The College Sports Report.